Hi everyone and welcome to the midweek shave. Time goes quick doesn't it? And the first thing I must say is I apologise because somebody pointed out I didn't ask how you were in the last video. So it's going to be one of the first things I do in this video. So how are you doing? Because it does mean a lot to know. Um, very well I hope. I hope you're having some, a good week, good weather, <laughs> and a good time and good shaves. Right, what are we using today? Well, this is a razor sent to me by Donald Navy Goat. And there is a number at the end of his channel, I can never remember, is it 23, 21? Anyway, Donald Navy Goat, a lot of you viewers will know who he is. He's a gentleman, he's a kind man. And this is one of the razors he sent me, he said it should be returned home. And it is a British 1946 Gillette Rocket. Open, twist to open, uh, non-adjustable, good heavyweight, short razor, good grip. Look at that, beautiful. And inside I am using a used once, second hand I call it, Gillette Super Thin Razor. And it's a new improved stainless. Good, good, uh, good razor. Slight overhang on the razor. Fantastic. Right. We're going to be using a special soap today. I've been looking forward to this. Everybody should know that picture. That man there and his good wife. I presume it's your wife. Fran. Fantastic business. And I'm looking forward to using this because there's anything to anything like frostbite. Whew, I'm in for a, a big um, a treat. This is the uh, old time shaving soap, classic barber shop scent. And lean forward, lean forward. Hey, <laughs> hey, right. <laughs> Brush, <laughs> brush has been soaking the Samog. Do you know what that is? Eight twenty. Black band, and uh, all white. All white. Oh. <laughs> Flicked. So it's still wet, but it's not dripping. And I'm going to lather it straight from the soap puck. And I'm going to show you. I've never lathered this before. But I can tell, watch this. Oh, that's. Ooh. <laughs> hey? God, Bennett, I tell you, you're on a winner here. I will put a link to that in the description. And if you've not tried these soaps, well, like a lot of people say, you're missing out. I'm going to try that. Right, watch this. Holy smoke. Straight away. Oh, come on. You can't. You don't want to go to work with this. No effort. No effort. Look, artisan soap. I think Douglas and Fran should get some of these big named brands and uh, show them how it's done, I think. Look at that. Oh, the scent is fantastic. Right, and this, I mean, <laughs> speechless, <laughs> vintage razor, it's been to the States, it's back home, it's been more places than I have. Right, off we go. Oh, it's one of them, fantastic. Not aggressive. Right. 
Now a lot of people like the soap a bit wetter than this, but uh, I like it like this, you see. And so far, oh, the scent is fantastic, it, you know. Excuse me, I need to feel the vibe. Fantastic. I'm going to go up here. Not only does this soap smell good, and you can see, you know, the camera doesn't lie, it smells fantastic. It lathered up. From the puck, like that, well, you can see, and it doesn't dissipate, aerate at all, it stays put. And then you get this lovely waft of this classic barbershop scent. As you shave. Doesn't disappoint either. Let's get to the second pass. I'm going to try it, dip it under the tap. God, this is luxury. I've hardly put any on this brush, really. Look at it. I'll tell you what, there's one clever. It's so nice, I'm gonna, oh come on, I need this scent, I need this scent, I'm gonna go back to it for a minute. Some people like it watery, so. Oh, what can I say? Certainly done their homework on this. So you're really going back to a classic barbershop scent using a classic razor. So it's like going back in time, isn't it? <laughs> I bet you think I'm nuts, don't you? Right. Cross the growth. It's quite hot in here because um, well, it's not the lights, but as well, they don't help. But who cares when you're enjoying yourself like this? Now the performance. Priced soap, which is fantastic. And I tell you something, I'll go as far as to say this is as good in quality. As the likes of Taylor of Old Bond Street. And then top names. Oh, the scent. Keep it a secret if you. <laughs> God, it's fantastic. Yeah, performance, the glide of this razor over the over the face as you're shaving. Well, it's just, oh, just speechless. Fantastic. Does the job and more. Dip that just slightly under the tap. And look at that. Whew. 
What do you think? Because I'm in my own world here. Oh, come on, please. Lean forward. <laughs> right, against the growth. So I'm going to start here. For me, it's this way. As I say, the performance is amazing. Just protects you right through the shave on each pass. The scent. Listen to that. The scent is amazing. Just, you've got it. I bet there's a lot of work gone into that. And you can tell. And by the way, I'm not paid to do this. I was kindly sent this. Surprise gift. Um, it's amazing that it's people. <laughs> so thank you so much. I'm just saying as I find it. And it's well, you can see for yourselves. It's uh, we'll give it a slickness test. This is how I do it: just water and just a razor. Oh, stunning! Stunning. Every part of this soap, the quality, I mean, look at the packaging. You know, it's fantastic. <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> That'd be me, that. Boat to no water. <laughs> fantastic, isn't it? Unique. And then, um, from the lathering, very quick. You can make it as long or as short as you want. But if you want a quick lather, you could see then, I like it thick and creamy, and it produced it from a puck of soap, not a cream. I suppose this is a class as a crop between a soap and a cream. And um, performed outstandingly. Um, created the lather very quick. The scent is amazing. Even from the puck, you know, even before you, the scent is the same. Because some soaps you'll s smell it and it'll, when it goes on the face, lathered, it smells slightly different. But this one smells exactly the same as when you smell it. Take the lid off. Fantastic, lovely. It's a fresh, uh, clean, beautiful scent. And, uh, you can imagine it being an old scent of yesteryear. A good name, isn't it? Yesteryear. And the performance during the shave was excellent. The scent remains. The soap remains, importantly, on the face. And the slickness is excellent. What can you say? What can you say? Very happy. Slight pickups. The razor is amazing. If it's an old razor, I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, look at 1946. And it's not an aggressive razor, as I say, but it does the job lovely. It doesn't clog or anything like that. It's not too mild. But rinsing regular helps all that. No pressure. The slickness on this is fantastic. Wow. 
this has just been fussy now. But it's nice to be now and again, isn't it? Oh, that's amazing. Well, I'm very, very happy. I'm sad in a way, that's uh, for then. It's not over yet. Hang on, it's not over till the... What's the saying? Till the fat lady sings. Just rinse this. God, you can even smell it when you're, you're rinsing. Good product. And it has a good name in the wet shaving community. Well deserved. Right, unscented witch hazel. And there's a reason it's unscented, because I don't want to... I lost that bit. <laughs> no irritation whatsoever. Nothing at all. Very comfortable shave, that. Very... Oh, amazing. And there was a good bit of growth there. Right. While that goes off, I'll tell you, um, there's going to be a couple of new videos coming up. Um, in between, it won't interfere with the Wednesday, Sunday shaves, they'll come up in between. And one being, I'm going to do a question and answer video, Q&A they call it. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll do a little 30 minute video uh, saying this is the Q&A video, leave you, you know, and all you have to do, well I'll explain in the 30 seconds or 60 seconds, whatever it is, and all it'll be if you've got any questions for me, um, well, you know, keep them decent, <laughs> uh, leave them in the comments under the video I'll, I'll put up. and. Um, I'll answer that, do a video then, the following week or something like that, answering the questions where I can. I'm not an expert, if it's, uh, you know, but I can answer for myself, you know, whatever. Well, I'll answer them if I can, obviously. Um, and the second video will be a shave den tour. It's been long awaited, a lot of people ask for it. Um, so what I've, what I've got is... A lot of stuff so you're going to see probably um, half of my razors because some of them are in boxes away as are a lot of the products I've got but you'll see a majority of stuff and how I keep them um, and what order it's uh, you know it's nothing it's not like a, a posh shop <laughs> But it's um it's how I do it and it works for me. So that'll be another video coming. Um right, that's gone off now. So hopefully uh you'd like to see those two videos. Um we'll see how it goes and this stuff. I'm that excited, I nearly forgot to say this. This is the classic barbershop scent cad aftershave and cologne. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and this is the same scent as the soap Slight tingle Oh come on <laughs> Hey Oh fantastic Do you mind if I have a bit more? No. Right oh go on then God blame me I'll do everything for you a lot. Oh, that one. Hey, the other one. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Whew, that is lovely. Ooh. That is fantastic. And I've even got an unscented, fragrance free cream because I want to keep this uh, oh it's lovely is there a bit of menthol in that that 
feels lovely. Whew. God, that feels. <laughs> what can you say? What can you say? <clears throat> I wish you could be a hand out and say, "Go on, see we look at me. Look at the, look at the shine. I'm putting any uh, any of this on you." Yeah? Good stuff. Just a tiny little bit of that. I always make a mistake. Putting too much on. Probably this is too much. All I'm worried about is continuing that scent. But I tell you what, I'm in. Oh yeah, don't forget. Hey. Eh? Oh, there's a bit of a natural colour today. A bit of spotlight colour in the, in the white flowers. Very nice. Um. I might have a cheeky bit more after. <laughs> oh, this this is uh, this is the life. This is the life. Come on, if you got friends, family, tell them what they're missing, will you? Holding a Mac Three Red Raw, having a crap day in work. Oof. They're missing. This is it's a millionaire's lifestyle. This. Well, it feels like it. Oh, this is... Don't go on. Okay, I won't. <laughs> so we're going to recap now. Gillette, a British Gillette 1946 rocket. Um, twist to open, non-adjustable, heavy, good grip, Diamante grip, I call it. A second-hand Gillette, super thin this is. And uh, performed lovely. Always on the second and third shave, they're always good shaves. And as you can see, there's no cuts and weepers and nothing like that. No irritation at, at all. And um, the Samoog 820 bore brush, black in colour on this handle, and the it's uh, the brush is white instead of the black band on it. Um, Fantastic soap. There it is. Says it all on the tin. And as I said, performance in creating the lather, wet brush to this, onto the face, thick, creamy, as I like it, and stayed. Good soap. The scent is fantastic, lovely, and it, is, it tastes like going back in time. It's a lovely, fresh scent. It's one of them scents you just can't get enough of. If you smelt it on someone, you'd be intrigued just to say, what's that? It's nice, clean, clean smell, lovely. And performance during the shave, the soap, the lather stayed on, didn't aerate, didn't dissipate or anything like that. And give me good protection during the shave, right through on each pass. And then rinsed off with water. Unscented, Thayer's unscented, Witch Hazel, and I've got some more coming of this, and I'll show you them when they arrive. Um, what else was there? Going off the thing now. Then we added this, the CAD. We broke out the CAD, as someone said. Classic barbershop scent, aftershave cologne, fantastic stuff. Lovely. I can smell it now, so that's why I use the unscented, um, I use Tesco's body lotion unscented. And that is a fantastic shave, very happy with that. So there's the shave done, and I'd like to say again thank you um, to Donald, uh, just a kind man. I've never known such kindness in all my life. Um, not just with, you know, with everybody. But in particular Donald, because it was a collection of vintage razors. Um, you know, to give them to someone uh, who you've never met. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm very lucky and I do appreciate it. And again, thank you to Douglas and Fran. Uh, you've got a fantastic soap, good product and you've got a good company here. And I can tell you've worked hard and you deserve good success. Thank you so much. So uh, if you've not tried this, you're missing out. And people are right, you are missing out. I'll put a link to the website um, in the description of the video. 
and the same for the this product here. Um, and that is it. I'm going through it all again, but uh, very happy, very happy. And thanks to all, and thank you for watching. I keep saying it twice a week. They're not short videos, um, so I do appreciate it very much. So as I say, it'll either be uh, this week and next week. I will put the question and answers video up, so you can leave your questions under that video when it comes up, and I will answer them the week after. And also the shaved end tour um, that'll come up in the next week or two. Um, and that is about it, I think. Any more news, Paul? No. Any meals to say? No. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So, as always, thanks very much. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? God, I can smell it now because you can't get over it. <laughs> Lovely. Right, leave them go. I'm letting you go. Thanks very much. And I'll see you. <laughs> on the weekend for the weekend shave. So take care of yourselves, have some fantastic shaves, and um, thank you so much. <laughs>